Women to the front! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 girl power movies every woman should see. What do you see? I see a cranky old woman too tired to play games. Hmm. I've got just a thing for you. For this list, we're looking at films that highlight female empowerment, whether that means they show women asserting their independence, supporting other women, building confidence, or overcoming the societal barriers that females sometimes encounter. I'm, t I'm telling you the truth, and I, I will get to the bottom of all of this. Don't, don't lie to us. I will take care of this, I promise. Number 10, Winter's Bone. You got some place to go? I'll find him. Re is a young woman facing stupendous barriers given her parents' absence and their life of poverty in the rural Ozarks. And pills help your mama's mood any? She keeps taking them. They ain't working. However, she is disarmingly level-headed and strong, managing to care for her two younger siblings despite being only 17 years old. Spell house. H O R O. <laughs> H O. Ow. U A. Uh -uh. U. S Aside from its chilling realism, an astounding element of this movie is the fact that no judgment is shown towards the surrounding characters. How long before we get kicked off our own property? I reckon. I reckon y'all got this place about another week. That's my guess. A week? And there ain't nothing I can do? The drama is a fascinating exploration into the all-too-common experience many older siblings face with absent parents, and Rhea is as caring and exemplary as can be. I'd be lost without the weight of you two on my back. I ain't going anywhere. Number 9. Precious. Nobody loved me. Based on the novel Push, Precious portrays a character that faces extreme levels of abuse and disadvantage. You had that smirk on your face, bitch! Now smile about that! Smile about that, you fat bitch! Bitch! I'ma kill you, bitch! You see, Precious has enough imagination, mental strength, and determination to fill an ocean. But her success may not be measured in conventional ways, as she cannot read well and has low self-esteem. Love ain't done nothing for me. Beat me, rape me, call me an animal, make me feel worthless, make me sick. She has a habit of dissociating herself from her reality because it's so harsh. Yet in these flashes, we see the shreds of hope that she has for a better life. Every day I tell myself, something's gonna happen. I'm, I'm dead to hey, I'm gonna break through, but somebody's gonna break through to me. The movie also sees a few older women help Precious open her eyes to the idea that her real world and her fantasy world might not be so different after all, which is very inspiring to say the least. That wasn't love, Precious. Your baby loves you. I love you. Number eight, Short Term 12. Short Term 12, this is Grace. Grace, played by Brie Larson, is a veritable brick wall of strength and perseverance. Remember, you're not their parent, you're not their therapist, you are here to create a safe environment, and that's it. Her job as a supervisor in a group home for troubled teens presents many challenges on a daily basis, with some even mirroring her own tumultuous past and stirring up carefully suppressed memories. You're out of here in less than a week. You're so much smarter than this. I know it's scary out there. I ain't scared of shit. Grace's supportive comedic nature and independent streak are some of her more consistent, valuable qualities. And she is a delight to watch as she navigates the skeletons in her own closet, especially as she helps a young new arrival open up about her own troubling home situation. Did your dad ever hurt you? Does he still hurt you? Number seven, Brave. I don't want my life to be over. I want my freedom. From deep in the Scottish Highlands comes a new breed of animated princess. Merida is faced with an arranged marriage, but she has other plans, as well as a taste for adventure and a willingness to risk everything for her own freedom. This whole marriage is what you want. Do you ever bother to ask what I want? No. However, she seeks to minimize the damage her pursuits would cause by finding a solution that works best for everyone. If I give this to my mom, it will change my fate. Oh, 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 trust me, it'll do the trick, dearie. Breaking with tradition and her mother's stifling idea of womanhood, 
Merida braves the family uproar with wit and charm. Mom, you'll never guess what I did today. Mm -hmm. I climbed the crone's tooth and drank from the fire falls. This is a hilarious Disney movie with depth that everyone can celebrate. But it also shows that reinventing girlhood might take a male ally like King Fergus as well. One swipe, his sword shattered, then chop! Dad's leg was clean off! Down the monster's throat it went. Oh, that's my favorite part! Aww. Number six, a league of their own. Oh, <laughs> it's female empowerment in the context of World War II and a fictionalized tale of the actual experiences of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. There's no crying in baseball! There's no crying in baseball! Feminism really began inching its way towards the mainstream when women began taking on roles traditionally held by men. Right here in Chicago, young girls plucked from their families are gathered at Harvey Field to see which one of them can be the most masculine. The players in this league all come from average lives, but tackle this new challenge with gusto supporting each other through the roller coaster of travel, the criticism towards their gender bending, and the sacrifices they make for the integrity of the team. Hit one run and we are back in this ball game. Shake it off. You gotta hit. What's perhaps equally incredible is that these women played baseball in skirts. Skirt in the skirt, May! Skirt in the skirt! <clears throat> She's in there with a triple. Number five, Mad Max Fury Road. You have done this before? Many times. Sure, this film is a thrilling action ride, but it also touches on societal emancipation from greedy, corrupted leaders. Charlize Theron plays an unforgettable heroine, Imperator Furiosa, who leverages her power to try to free the women Immortan Joe has chosen for breeding. I can't wait for them to see it. See? Say what? Home. The journey taken by the wives as they try to escape their oppressive lives is turbulent and bears the typical marks of an action-adventure movie. It hurts. Out here, everything hurts. You want to get through this? Do as I say. However, what makes this a girl power flick is not the fact that most of the stars are women where normally they'd be men, but rather the themes explored in tandem with the courageous women represented. Let's go. Number four, Mulan. The Huns are alive. They're in the city. You don't belong here, Mulan. Go home. This is the heartwarming story of a maiden who chooses to take her father's place in the army against the invading Huns. Mulan, you should already be in town. We are counting on you to up uphold the family honor. Don't worry, father. I won't let you down. The titular Mulan is the female in question who takes on what her society considers to be a male's duty. As such, she consistently forges her own path as a brave character and leader. Keep your eyes open. I know they're here. While using her rationality and cleverness as much as her physical and emotional strength, Mulan also has a swashbuckling adventure, swaps gender roles, and falls in love all in the same year. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, sorry you had to see that. It's a cartoon for a reason, but an excellent one that also demonstrates anything can happen. To top things off, Mulan was inspired by a legendary real-life Chinese warrior. You said you'd trust Ping. Why is Mulan any different? Number three, Thelma and Louise. Louise, you shot him. Oh my God. Thelma and Louise is an inspiring, albeit cautionary tale about what can happen when women seek liberation. The film sees the titular duo stick together through the complicated circumstances that ensue as they head out on their own. Yeah, the goddamn Mexico, will you? Okay. While that includes a sexual assault incident, murder, and thievery, the comedy drama brings up intriguing questions as well, analyzing what freedom really is and how far some people will go to achieve it. I always wanted to travel, I just never got the opportunity. You got it now. Thema and Louise hit the road, and it is a bumpy ride. But despite the setbacks, both characters gain confidence, their friendship grows, and they remain loyal to the end. Let's keep going. What do you mean? Go! Number two, Aaron Brockovich. Just want to be a good mom, nice person, a decent citizen. I just want to take good care of my kids, you know? 
This is a biographical film about an unemployed single mom of three who ends up taking on a huge legal battle against a huge gas and electricity company. You want me to trust you? Do me a favor, Ed. Don't use big words you don't understand. But Erin's strength, intelligence, and confidence ensure her independence as she navigates a burgeoning career in law while also being a mother. You think either one of the men who gave me those children asked me what I wanted before he walked away? All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide they need. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I won't do it. The movie shows Brockovich relentlessly pursuing justice in her own fashion and using the legal system to help herself and others. If that means taking up a little space and amplifying her voice, so be it. Plus, she's witty as hell to boot. Lover's quarrel. Oh, bite my ass, Krispy Kreme. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Peter, I got it. I got the medicine. What happened to you? I'm fine. No, you're not. What happened? The girl from two, she threw a knife. I'm okay. You shouldn't have gone. You said you weren't gonna go. You got worse. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm, at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocalate? And don't you think that I will stand idly by while anyone smears my good name? Now you get those charges voided, Senator. And you do it today. <laughs> No, you don't understand. They need me. They need you. A bunch of nuns. What for? Moral guidance? What, makeup tips? Let me tell you something. We are talking about the Pope. This means a great deal to them, and they have worked very hard for this, and they deserve it. Number one, Whale Rider. What time's the concert, Bob? 7.30. And don't be late. Our number one pick shows a young Maori girl overcoming entrenched patriarchal mythologies and cultural traditions. He's just looking for something that doesn't exist anymore. A new leader. They exist. By responding to such traditions with her own brand of resistance and compassionate understanding, Pai demonstrates that those societies that covet sons over daughters rely on illogical premises about the value of women. It's not Kuro's fault, Nene. Well, it's not his fault. Sounds like his fault to me. Not that I'm a girl. The family drama depicts strong cultural ties and the beauty that comes from them, as well as the consequences faced by those seeking alternative ways of life. But I was not the leader my grandfather was expecting, and by being born, I broke the line back to the angel ones. It wasn't anybody's fault, it just happened. Pai is a girl power character that refuses to change who she is in the face of discrimination, instead seeking to transform the world she's living in for the better. He's got a lot of rules he has to live by. It's not fear. Do you agree with our list? Which inspiring girl power movies are your fave? You sure we should be driving like this? I mean, in broad daylight and everything? No, we shouldn't, but I want to put some distance between us and the state of our last goddamn ah! <laughs> For more memorable top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Oh,